Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the fifth and final video of the jQuery Slideso series. Um, all the other video videos have led up to this. I've done the graphic design, the slicing, uh, the CSS, and now I'm finishing off the JavaScript. We have the actual rotator working, but the buttons aren't quite there yet. If you click on them, nothing really happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the functions to the buttons, and I'm also going to add the hover for each of these. Um, the one drawback to the way that I designed this is even if you come down here and mouse over, this whole side right here is a button, which maybe that's a good thing, usability, um, but oh well. So we'll get right into this. So back over here we have our function, and one thing I forgot to do was add in my button class. So what I want to do is come down here to my code and where it says previous blue, I want to add space and call it, put in btn. And then same thing with next blue. And what this is doing is looking for the btn class. And because this blue attribute has the, the btn class, it's going to get the hover effect that gets called here. So it's going to fade in when it's hovering, fade out when it's not. And before I actually get into that, I'm going to add in one more thing. The previous blue oops and also next blue actually you know what? I could have just gone like this button dot hide okay now if I refresh both of those buttons are hidden and if I mouse over you'll see the arrows come in so there we go those work pretty nicely and now I'm just going to add the function to when I click on them. And that is pretty simple. I'm just going to do dollar sign prev yes dot click is equal to function. I know, and you guys are probably asking me why I'm creating a function to call another function. I've run into some problems in the past where I need to call a function or create a function to call a function because the other uh, the function that's getting called won't work correctly if I put that in directly. So I'll do brief slide and then I'll copy this. Change that to next and just do next slide. Save it. I'm going to change the speed to 5,000. All right. So now if I refresh, if I click on it, it's going to change. If I go back one, it's going to change. If I keep on going back, it's going to go right back to the end of the list. If I keep on going forward, it's going to go to the beginning of the list. And that is your jQuery uh, slideshow. Hopefully you guys found some use out of it. It's not the best because it doesn't have icons over here, which are easy enough to add, but I didn't get that far into it. Uh, so hopefully you guys found this useful. Uh, be sure to subscribe and check out more of my videos. I want to do a PHP series uh, pretty soon on more complex stuff. Uh, a lot of people have done the basics. I want to do something like building a framework and eventually I want to rebuild my website and I'm going to take you guys through the whole process as far as um, the development and design phase all the way down to uh, putting it into production. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully I'll have some more coming soon. I'm just buried with work and I have absolutely no time for anything but uh, I actually stayed up late tonight. It's a weekend so wanted to get these out. Uh, enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later.